Howdy, I'm Rob Bassett. I'm an astronomer and Astro 3D member, and today I'm going to tell you about the expanding universe. And you've probably heard of the Big Bang. This marks the beginning of time in our universe, when the entire universe existed as a single point. After the Big Bang, the universe began to expand rapidly, and this expansion continued for over 13 billion years to the present day. Interestingly, the expansion of the universe, which is fundamental to our current understanding of cosmology, has only been known for around 100 years. But how was it originally discovered? In 1912, an astronomer named Vesto Slipher observed shifts in the colors of certain features in distant galaxies. Using Einstein's theory of relativity, Slipher was able to use his measurements of these shifts in color to calculate the speeds at which these galaxies were moving. Remarkably, nearly all of the galaxies he observed were found to be moving very rapidly away from our own Milky Way. Prior to Slipher's observations, the generally accepted theory was of a so-called static or stationary universe, which would predict random relative motions of galaxies. This means that we should expect an equal number of galaxies moving towards and away from the Milky Way. Slipher's extraordinary discovery that all galaxies are moving away from us contradicts this expectation and implies that the universe itself is expanding in all directions. To visualize the expansion of the universe, we can perform a simple experiment that you can do at home. To do this experiment, you'll need an elastic band, five clothespins, a piece of paper to mark down your uh, observations, and a measuring tape. First, secure one end of the elastic band. We've closed one end in the door, but you can get a friend to hold it for you. Have another friend grab the other end and pull it slightly and hold steady. Choose one of the pegs to represent the Earth. We'll use the little fox. The rest of the pins will represent distant galaxies. Place the Earth pin on the band, then use the measuring tape to place the remaining pins at five centimeter intervals. Measure the distance from the Earth pin to each of the galaxy pins and write down the distance in a table. Once you've written down all the starting distances, stretch the band until the distance from Earth to the first galaxy is 10 centimeters. Have your friend hold the band still at this point and then re-measure the distance from Earth to all the other galaxies, writing down these values in the second row of your table. For each galaxy, we can determine how far that galaxy has moved relative to the Earth by subtracting the starting distance from the finishing distance after stretching the band. We can then make a graph of the original distance versus the distance moved to visualize our results. Here are the results of our experiment. We can see that galaxies that started farther away from Earth have moved a much larger distance after stretching. If we assume that the stretching took one second, we can determine the speed at which each galaxy is moving away from the Earth by dividing the distance moved by one second. Now we see that not only has the peg that was originally farthest away from Earth moved the largest distance, it's also moved with the highest speed. This is exactly what Vesto Slipher observed for galaxies, although the distances and speeds are much larger than in our experiment. In fact, galaxies observed by Slipher were found to be traveling at hundreds of kilometers per second and existing at distances of up to 6 to the power of 19 kilometers away. This is so far that it would take light more than 6 million years to travel from one of these distant galaxies to Earth. The relationship between the speed of galaxies and their distance from the Milky Way results entirely from the expansion of the underlying space-time continuum, which in our experiment is represented by the elastic band. What do you think would happen if you swapped the position of Earth with one of the other galaxies and did the experiment again? Do you think the results would change? Try it out! In this experiment, all the galaxies sit in a straight line, meaning we've demonstrated the expansion of the universe in a one-dimensional universe. We can show this principle holds in two dimensions using a marker and a balloon. Draw four galaxies, roughly at equal points on a square, on the surface of the balloon. Now, inflate the balloon fully. You'll see that the galaxies have moved much further apart from each other, just like in our one-dimensional experiment. In this case, although a balloon is a three-dimensional object, the galaxies themselves are drawn on the two-dimensional surface of that balloon, meaning that we've shown that our experiment holds when the dimensionality is increased by one. What about higher dimensions? Of course, the universe itself is four-dimensional, having three spatial dimensions and one dimension of time. Although the geometry of the real universe is more complicated than our one- and two-dimensional experiments, the underlying concepts are the same. In an expanding four-dimensional space-time, any two points will be found to expand away from each other with time.
In these simple experiments, we've shown that the movements of galaxies through the universe result largely from the expansion of the universe itself, rather than any actual movement of these galaxies through the universe. This fact was discovered by pioneers like Vester Slipher only a century ago. These days, the study of the expansion rate of the universe falls under the topic of cosmology. Modern cosmologists have shown that the expansion rate of the universe is not actually constant, but is accelerating with time. In fact, this accelerating expansion of the universe has been known for less than 30 years, and it was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2011. We've demonstrated today that the principle of expanding space is relevant in one and two dimensions. Can you think of an experiment that demonstrates this in three? Astro 3D is the Australian Research Council's Centre of Excellence for All-Sky Astrophysics in three dimensions. Our astronomers are searching to understand the evolution of the matter, light and elements from the Big Bang to the present day. This Astro in the Home series is your opportunity to unlock the secrets of the universe with your own two hands. Find out more by visiting our website, following us on social media or subscribing to our YouTube channel to be notified whenever we upload new content. Now, go explore the universe.